Welcome to my YouTube channel Marketing 5.0. Thanks much on continuously watching my videos, subscribing to my channel and uh, sharing with your network. Please keep watching for more videos uh, which are unique, trendy and futuristic in nature. We are looking at the videos related to marketing and innovation practice series. And in the previous video we discussed about uh, the marketing and innovation practices of companies from Korea. In this line, today we will talk about the marketing innovation practices of a company we all know, Amazon. So we all know Amazon is a internet, mostly an online company, but many of us know Amazon is also getting into a, a offline business with its unique technology. Let us see this video on how Amazon is going about providing value to consumers with our innovation practices. Four years ago, we started to wonder, what would shopping look like if you could walk into a store, grab what you want, and just go? What if we could weave the most advanced machine learning, computer vision, and AI into the very fabric of a store so you never have to wait in line? No lines, no checkouts, no registers. Welcome to Amazon Go. Use the Amazon Go app to enter. Then put away your phone and start shopping. It's really that simple. Take whatever you like. Anything you pick up is automatically added to your virtual cart. If you change your mind about that cupcake, just put it back. Our technology will update your virtual cart automatically. So how does it work? We used computer vision, deep learning algorithms, and sensor fusion, much like you'd find in self-driving cars. We call it Just Walk Out Technology. Once you've got everything you want, you can just go. When you leave, our Just Walk Out Technology adds up your virtual cart and charges your Amazon account. Your receipt is sent straight to the app, and you can keep going. Amazon Go. No lines, no checkout. No, seriously. If you see in this video, it clearly shows the ingenious technology used by Amazon to give a seamless experience to consumer. But when Amazon releases uh, the demo video, uh, people are thinking whether it is going to be a reality because it looks like a science fiction. Now we see another video as Amazon launched a store recently, uh, two years back, the Amazon Go Stores. Let us see the video which talks about it, the real life experience of uh, the same, which is very important. And you know, it is, it is surprising to see how Amazon brought this, uh, you know, like uh, the technology for the benefit of consumers and how it is uh, providing value to the consumer. So this is how you can see the marketing innovation uh, practice at its peak and it gives an interactive innovation experience for a consumer. Let me add uh, sound for you to enjoy that. I'm Lexi Savides and I am in the middle of San Francisco's financial district standing right outside Amazon Go, the company's first cashierless store in this city, although it is store number six across the US with other ones in Chicago and Seattle. So this concept is all about cameras and sensors tracking what you're buying. So essentially all you do when you walk in the store is scan the app, you pick out what you want, and then you just walk straight out and it's charged automatically. So I'm going to try it out. You're going to come with me. I have the app already loaded on my phone. So let's go inside and we are going to go on a bit of a shopping spree. I think it's going to be pretty fun. This is my first time inside an Amazon Go store, so I don't really know what's going to be here. I think it's going to be, I can see like candies, chocolates, there are a couple mugs, cliff bars, gum. Let's grab some chocolate chips. Okay, so I'm going to grab some off the shelf. And it's 
going to keep an eye on what I'm actually picking up. And so it's going to add it to my cart. And then if I put it back, it's going to take it out of my cart. It's like magic. But I think I want the chocolate chip. Why not? There's a lot to choose from in here. And there are a couple of, I've noticed a couple of local vendors that are just from San Francisco, like there's Munchery. And then over here, there are stuff from Dosa. So these are all just like San Francisco local brands that you're probably not going to get anywhere else. So now I have everything I need. I have breakfast, lunch, and a really sugar-filled dinner. I'm going to walk straight out with this and it's going to send me an invoice afterwards. Kind of weird. I don't have to talk to anyone. I don't have to scan my credit card. I'm just going to leave. So I've just left the store and now I'm going to go into the app and it gives me an invoice of everything that I bought. Yeah, I went a little bit crazy. Let's be honest. I bought some stuff. I've got my grand total down here, my invoice and my card's been charged and, and that's it. I spent... You see in this video, uh, it shows very clearly how Amazon is uh, released the technology uh, for the use of uh, consumers and uh, how consumers are enjoying it. But you see the model which Amazon is following, Amazon is launched uh, this model uh, for uh, the store which are smaller in nature, where consumer will go and grab uh, the products which are using on the go. So instead of going for a bigger stores. So if you see this, this gives a real interactive innovation uh, experience for the consumer and it really beneficial to them. In this line, let us uh, visit, uh, let's just see one more video about uh, the Walmart innovation of interactive experience. How Walmart is ingeniously using his, uh, you know, like uh, the technique to provide uh, the experience to consumers, as well as how that particular, uh, the practice will enable Walmart to increase footfalls and uh, increase its uh, other businesses. Let us watch this video now. Tech at the Lancaster, California Walmart, and I wanted to take you inside here because they have some really cool and really new technology in here. Let me show it to you. It's called the pickup tower, and this thing is massive. You can't miss it when you walk into the store. <coughs> it's a place where you can pick up your online order. Come on, take a look. So this is the pickup tower. It's 16 feet tall. And it's basically a giant vending machine that is just chock full of goodies. All the stuff that people order online, if they choose the online tower pickup, next thing you know, they come into the store when they get a text and they pick up their item. So let me show you how it works. Uh, I placed an order. And once you place an order, it verifies that it's in the store. You come on over here to the machine and look at this. Do you see how it just kind of opened up? So come on in close. So I've get my little uh, barcode here. This is the barcode that they sent me for my item. And all I have to do is literally scan it. So uh, before I do that, let me show you around the machine. Come on, because this thing is so big. I mean, 16 feet tall. They tell me that it holds hundreds of items. They won't tell me exactly how many, but hundreds. Come on all the way around. You can see there's even a little vent because this is a real working machine. So there are mechanics inside. There are things happening in there, all kind of like little I'm assuming it's kind of like little uh, slots inside where it's storing the items for easy retrieval. <laughs> you got some bars here so that people don't knock into it. Come on around this side. And this thing is pretty massive. I mean, people probably come into the store just to take pictures with this thing. And over here is kind of a, an extra bank of lockers. So if your item doesn't fit in the machine because it's only so big that those things can hold, uh, it will go into this overflow locker. And so when you scan your item, one of these lockers will pop open. If you notice, they're different sizes. So this is kind of, this is where, this is, this would be my locker right here. This looks like it would have a nice, yeah, nice flat screen TV. I think they can fit like a, maybe a 30, 40, 42 inch right in there. All right, so now we're gonna pick up my item. And I love how this thing just gently glides open. So I'm gonna scan my barcode and watch how fast this is because I've already tried this and you cannot believe how fast. Come on in close, you ready? Because it happens so fast, you blink and you might miss it. So I'm gonna scan my barcode, watch this, it says scan order number. Watch this, ready? Scan it, look how fast that was to retrieve my item. Now, you can't really see inside, but there's, oh, 
Look at that. It's already there. Oh, it, it actually was not opening because my hands were in the way. Okay. Hi. What's up, pickup tower? And if I uh, can't. Okay. Oh, saying door closing. It wants me to get out of there. But there you go. So now I've got my little item and I can just literally walk out of the store. So how fast is that for an online pickup? Again, it is called the pickup tower. It's 16 feet tall and it's available right now in about 200 stores. Walmart's been testing this over the last year. This is one of the special places that has it and they're gonna expand it to 500 more stores over the course of this year. So you're talking 700 stores. Walmart's got a lot more to go. They've got several thousand in the US. But to me, I love this kind of idea because basically I like to do things online. I like to have the quickest interaction. So if I need to pick up something really fast, I just come into the store, pick it up out of the tower and head out. Now you might be wondering, how does your item get into the tower? Well, that's where the person in the store comes along. So Walmart says they've actually created a bunch of jobs of people whose job it is to go into the store, find the item that you purchase online and stock it up inside this tower. So there you have it, a quick look at the brand new way to shop at Walmart where you order online, pick up in store at this giant tower. And I think they just made this thing big so they could have fun with, you know, obviously it holds a lot of stuff, but I think they just wanted people to come in here and like take pictures with this thing. That's, that's what I'm going with. All right, thanks so much for watching. Rich DeMiro, Rich on Tech at the Lancaster Walmart. Uh, if you like this video, you learned something, give it the old thumbs up. And you see in this case uh, how uh, the Walmart uh, is set up its uh, pickup towers uh, to provide interactive experience to consumers within the store. People can buy online and they can go to store and pick up very, uh, you know, like within a day, <clears throat> you don't have to wait for uh, <clears throat> the moment they uh, store the that particular uh, product inside the the tower. You will get the the barcode and SMS, and you can go and collect it. So this provides a kind of an interactive experience to consumer. So all these videos, you see how uh, the companies get into these innovation practices, marketing innovation practices to provide innovative uh, experiences which provides value and uh, finally it helps company to achieve its growth. So once again, thank you very much for watching my video uh, and uh, subscribing to my channel, YouTube channel uh, Marketing 5.0 uh, and please keep watching for more videos. See you then uh, till next video.